What's up everybody, Gem Mint here with another statue unboxing and review and this time we have the legendary beast XM Studios one third scale Captain America. You guys may have seen me do the one third scale Thor recently and I knew I had to go back and get this piece to add it to that line. Here's the art box, you can see it's a little bit different from your traditional XM box but it still has that Captain America biography on the side here so that's a nice touch. Before we jump into this unboxing, make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying the videos, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one. We're doing a big giveaway for our next subscriber milestone of 150k. Hang out to the end of the video and I'll give you more details on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the styrofoam here, like traditional XM fashion. You have those black straps, you get the legendary beast logo on the top, and it does have two layers. Let's get this thing on the floor here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the black envelope first. No art print here, but it does have the instruction booklet uh, on how to assemble, where the pieces lie in the box, uh, similar to the Thor piece that we looked at recently. A lot of shields in that box. <laughs> all right, that's enough of all that. So as you can see, we got the straps here. Take those off. Let's go ahead and remove the lid, take off the plastic. And here we go. So let's start with the arms. Here's the left arm right away. I love the leather effect on the gloves. You have that red cracked leather with the black details, the texture on the white part of his outfit. You got an elbow pad, the buckles. I like the uh, the detail in the glove. It looks really good as well. He's got that balled up fist. And then a right hand that pretty much looks the same. So the detail is great. I like the musculature. You can see that bulging bicep there. You have the shadowing and all the different details in the forearm. Again, that worn leather look. So those are the two closed fist options. The other hand is going to be uh, an outstretched finger leading the charge, leading the way. Captain America uh, busting down doors in World War II. Uh, same great details on this hand as well. This one is specific to one of the two torsos that we're going to take a look at. So let's take a look at the shields. There's three of them. This one has a clean look on the front of it. On the back, you can see it's got a star. This is going to key into the back, so that's an option, like how he sometimes wears it. I like that texture on the leather straps and then the vibranium inside. Then here is the switch out. If you don't want to have the shield on his back, you can just plug this star in and have the shield in one of his hands. So that was a pretty cool option. Another shield. This one has more of a dirty look. You can really see around that white rim there. So this one's a little bit dirty. It's a little older. And this is for one of the left hand switch outs. Again, I like that leather detail on the brown straps, the motion in there. Same great detail on the hand. And then the third shield is another clean one, but this one's going to be a right hand switch out. So this one could maybe be more for the modern look to match the modern portrait that we'll take a look at, but pretty symmetrical to the other one that we just saw. All right. And then speaking of portraits, so this one I would say is more of the old school look because you have those wings on the side of his temple that are kind of protruding out of the helmet. You have that detailed texture on the side of his mask, uh, old blue eyes there. Got the ears poking out. I think it looks good. The skin tone looks good as well. And the other portrait, a little bit more modern. As you can see on the side there, the wings are not protruding like the other ones. And this one doesn't have the textured look. It's more of a sleek, modern helmet. You got the strap around his chin there. So a nice option there. So that's everything on the top layer here. Let's go ahead and take that off. Here's the bottom layer. You can see we got a couple torsos. So let's take a look at one of them. This one is going to be for the outstretched pointing right arm. Love the scales. Love the muscle details, the shoulder, the pecs. The texture on his neck is a nice touch. You can see the star on the back there. Looks really well done. The second upper torso is going to have both arms down, and I really just like the detail in here. The paint applications look great. You have different hues of blue. That's where you could either put the star or the shield on his back, so we'll take a look at that during the assembly. Very nice. The torso, a lot going on. I like the stars and stripes kind of uh, midsection there, the belt buckle, the pouches. He's got the detail in the fabric of his pants. The boots are highly detailed, huge peg, so you know it's going to be sturdy in that base. The boots have the same great worn leather, the brown pouches as well. 
Let's take a look at this base. You got that big bronze eagle staring at you. It's not too heavy. I can kind of pick it up and show you guys a little bit, but we'll take a closer look at it when we do the assembly. But before we get into the assembly, let's give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has those exclusive variants with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. They have a beautiful, amazing Spider-Man 74 Legacy 875 Gabriel Del Auto cover, which you can save 10% on by using the code GEMMIN at checkout. That's good anytime you shop there, just like their sister site, that's SpiderManBooth.com. You can buy $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value. One lucky box is going to have their GP, the giveaway prize, of this amazing Spider-Man 300 graded at a 9.4 by CGC, the first full appearance of Venom. This round ends on September 1st, so go ahead and scoop up a box before then to have a chance to win this grail. Use code GEMMINT to save 10% anytime you buy a box there. Alright, so the base on the table, we're going to go ahead and get that one peg in there. There's two holes on there, so I guess it was supposed to have two pegs originally. Let's go ahead and put that first torso on his body. There we go, and we'll get the outstretched pointed hand in first. The left hand will go ahead and throw his shield on there, because this torso doesn't give you the option for the shield on his back. And let's just uh, try one of the portraits. You can use either one. This one, he does have his head looking more upward than the other one. Onto the alternate torso, we'll plug that bad boy in. And this one, you can go ahead and put the shield on his right arm since he's not pointing forward. Regular fist on the left one. Let's go ahead and put the star on his back since he's holding his shield. Very nice. And then let's try the uh, the other head sculpt there. So I didn't think I was gonna like this one as much, but I like how it's angled better. Let's remove that shield from his right hand and we'll go ahead and remove the star from his back and we'll plug in the shield there. And I don't know, I'm kind of torn. I think I might like this look better, but I also like him holding the shield. So we'll have to see which one we like better. All right, guys, there you have it. The one third scale Captain America in all his glory. And man, it's a beautiful piece. Typically a more of a dynamic pose type of guy, but I feel like with quarter scale, you kind of got to go dynamic. But with one third scale, I'm totally fine with the museum pose. It looks classy. It just looks like something that you would have in like a mansion or something, not necessarily a bunch of Ikea furniture. Um, we've been spoiled with one third scale DC pieces from Prime One. So it's cool to finally see some Marvel characters getting that treatment. We've got Thor, Captain America, Magneto's coming. I'm hearing Iron Man and even Hulk from Legendary B. So I'm probably going to go all in on this line. This piece is chock full of detail with the base. It's simple, but it says everything it needs to say about Captain America. You got this bronze eagle representing freedom, representing the United States of America, along with the stars as well. It's got a nice contrast between the bronze and the brown. Plus, you have the gravel type of look on the top. The detail on him is bar none. I mean, you got the boots with the straps. You have the detail along the ankles. Even going up to his pants, you have texture within the sculpt. You have knee pads. You have intricate line work. Uh, folds around like that crotch area, around the back of the knees. We saw those hands and fists up close. You have that worn leather look. Portraits both look great. I think the skin tone looks great. Thor, a little bit on the yellow side there, but I think Cap looks perfect. Uh, I really do like this pose, but I think I'm gonna have to have Captain America holding his shield. So I'm probably gonna take the shield off his back, put it in his right hand, and I might even switch out to the other portrait because even though it's looking up, I'm gonna have it on the lower level of my Maju case. So I think that'll be a good angle. He'll be looking at you while you're looking down on him. If you guys wanna see pictures of Captain America with Thor in the Maju case, make sure to follow me on Instagram at gem underscore mint underscore collectibles and uh, see some more exclusive content on there as well. This piece was limited to just 388 pieces. It retailed $1,250 and quickly sold out and started going for almost double on the aftermarket. I didn't pay retail, but I didn't pay the highest point that it's going for. So I got a really good deal, man. I'm happy to say that uh, I was able to scoop this up, add it to the collection. But let me know what you think about uh, Captain America in the comments down below. Like I said, we're doing a big giveaway once we hit the next subscriber milestone of 150K. And we're going to give away this Deja Thoris premium format statue by Sideshow. All you got to do is be subscribed, leave a like, and comment. Once we reach the milestone, we'll go live the following Sunday and pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. 
As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to leave you with Captain America spinning, but don't go anywhere. I got a bunch of other statue unboxing and reviews for you to check out after that. Stay minty fresh. Peace.